Now we need to turn it up. Let's go. Graphics, 1 is a little jank cuz they were just they were just getting started obviously but uh let's see uh we're going to change this button I'm and I'm doing something fun I'm playing on an arcade stick so but I've never played Blade Runner on an arcade stick before so this is going to be a very fun stream so we're going to change that to kick and then let's see this one is going to be the beast button Is that right? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Cancel button. There we go. I know what the, the cancel button does, but <laughs> I don't remember what the cancel button does. I assume it does does fun things, maybe, hopefully. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Character select menu on the CG. That glorious CG. Sure, why not? <laughs> Music in Bloody War is pretty fun. So, well, uh, right, let's make sure that I'm. <laughs> On second thought, you know, the, the console specific music is fun, but the arcade version for the first Bloody War is kind of not. Like, what is, what is this? Who thought this was a good idea? This does not fit the vibe at all. Let's, let's go back and fix that, okay, so sound options. 
console. There we go. Okay. Man. All right. I'm gonna say on. Okay. okay well, let's try this again. <laughs> All, right, All right. Much better. <laughs> Let's make sure that the controls are, are correct. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ridiculous amount while you're in beast mode. And also, the physics in this game were, were crazy. Like, in terms of how high you could knock people in the air like that. No, they, they, they calm that down a little bit in the later games. So we're on the first one for all of the shank in the world. So the controls are good. Controls are good. We're gonna, we're gonna jump in. So let's jump in. Oh, whoops. Let me fix that. There we go, that's it. <laughs> Good thing I caught that early. Alright, so the story behind Bloody War. So pretty much revolves around uh, these zoanthropes, you know, people who can transform into different animals. And the main character is your, your standard you go, werewolf, you know. So you go, um, yo, the high schooler because Japan. Uh, so. <laughs> Get ready, fight. Is looking for his missing father, and he believes that this uh, company called Tylon has something to do with his disappearance. So his dad is a mercenary of some sort, and then. Gato was like his friend in the military, the guy I'm fighting right now. So he's also looking for him. Fire! 
Get ready. Fight! So this company, or this corporation, Tylon, has been experimenting on all of the Bazillanthropes and such and trying to create their own. So they've just been uh, kidnapping people. So that's the story behind this game. Look at these graphics. <laughs> Be a fox, an assassin for the Thailand Corporation. Yeah, that's right. The, the corporation has assassins. <laughs> but I gotta do some, I gotta employ some people to do the kidnapping and stuff. Fox, being as gender non-conforming as he is, um, not 100% if they were going for just, you know, someone who... Someone who's trans or someone who just enjoys kind of dressing more feminine, but, you know, he's pretty psycho, so... I don't know. Kinda problematic if you ask me. <laughs> but... We'll have the... The ostensibly guy who dresses as a woman be just completely insane. Maybe that's why they didn't bring him back to the other games? I don't know. <laughs> I think it made it work. You know, just tweaked it a bit. But, you know, he was never seen again after this game. Someone else who kind of was never seen again after this game is Bakryu. Another assassin for the for the corporation. This time he's a ninja. So you know, he's all about putting himself through experiments to make himself stronger. And they come to bite him in the ass later, we'll say. <laughs> this is a permanent frowny face on his like Alice the rabbit get she's ready tail right here get it that's, that's fine <laughs> so they're, they're bunny ears the pigtails are bunny ears that that makes sense we're we're workshopping this it's okay oh no I'm, I'm losing I'm losing Purpose of the stream, I should have turned the difficulty down. Yeah, we're gonna be here Get all day. <laughs> so, Alice is another high schooler uh, because Japan. <laughs> and, and after um, her parents, I think they went missing or they, they, I think they died actually. So, she, she moved to Japan to live with her aunt, who's also in the game. Her cousin was one of the ones who was kidnapped, and that's why her aunt is also um, a character in the game, because, you know, you can't go around kidnapping kidnapping people's daughters, you know, and their mom's gonna come after you. Ah, 
take that. Get ready. Fight! I'm not super used to the controls. I keep thinking kick is not where it's is not where it is. That was a bad idea, apparently. Okay, so when you use the rave, it causes your B strike to drain, obviously. Brought shame upon my family. <laughs> you go. Get ready. Fight. Later games are not quite as clunky. So, that was Take that. Hey Get you ready. Let's go. Bye. Like the the funny thing about this game is how like they're they're like the clothes that they that got blown off when they transform just magically come back when they revert to being human. So that's fun. You win. Lucky it wasn't a full moon dinner. Long. Another assassin for the Tylon Corporation. Get ready. But he's he's kind of he's kind of meh on it. <laughs> But really, his father is a scientist for the corporation, so he's kind of been roped in. Like family business type deal. Starting in Bloody Roar 2, they kind of gave everyone super moves, which they okay, call them beast drives, and they continued that throughout the rest of the series. But in one, they didn't have it, so the, the move lists aren't super extensive in the first one. <laughs> Get ready, fight! Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Trying to predict what the computer is gonna do. But... Ah, uh, what? Hey, Get ready. It's like Big Mama. Get ready, fight! Like you kidnap her daughter, you're gonna have to pay for that. <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> so yeah, so Mitsuko is Alice's aunt, and she's looking for her daughter Uriko, who is kidnapped by the Tylo Corporation. I'm not 100% sure how all of this works, how they're kind of just all over the map in terms of where these fights are, but... Or like, you know, is the police involved in any of this, or...? I don't know. Get ready. You know how corporations are, surely they paid off all the authorities and stuff, so... <laughs> so Misko is another character that didn't really come back. She's mentioned in the in the other games, but she is not a playable character after the first one. Die, jerk! <laughs> Which is a travesty. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, listen to this. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Die, jerk. Die, jerk. <laughs> out of my way. Hey, oh. Out of my way. Pure Travis Day, she didn't come back. <laughs> but I guess, you know. Get ready. Fight. Like, her reasons for, for heading out into battle kind of diminished after the first game, but. Ow. final character that didn't quite make it out of the first game. And then this circus ringmaster who got all of his animals stolen from by Tylon because, you know, they're doing all this research and, and stuff. But... Turns into a giant gorilla. Oh, 
Well, I guess he's not all that giant. <laughs> but he turns into a gorilla nonetheless. Final stage, Ruriko meets Go's daughter who got kidnapped. Get ready. And turns into that way. It's like that is very 90s anime aesthetic right there. Upside your head. <laughs> it was a low. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna be a low. Stop that. Cut it out. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Little girl is okay. <laughs> Crap. I can't believe it. I just reached a lot of these other natural abilities. God, what are you doing here? Like you, you know. Searching for you, Gio. Your father and my best friend. <laughs> sure answer lies behind this door. Destroy them all. This battle will never end. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Okay, 
him the jack punch. <laughs> Take in plus. I did it! <laughs> I am the champion. Thank you for playing! Alright, so that's Bloody Roar 1. Let's check out Bloody Roar 2, shall we? I am supreme. Bloody Roar 2, the new breed. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Let's uh, check the controls. Okay, so this one is a little bit more refined than the first one. You know, they got their bearings and uh, let's see. Uh, so that will be punch and I don't know, that's... Hmm, how do I want to do it? I don't know. Just a kick. We'll make this hard, I guess. Okay, let's see. This is the beast button. You know, left and right, and then, okay, that one's also guard. <laughs> okay, so we'll make that the, the panic button, you know. All right, there we go. Difficulty four, eh, yeah, might as well, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so this one, um, they actually included a, a story Bloody mode. Roar 2, so. the new breed. So let's check in on our friend Hugo. Uh. <laughs> 
Look at how cool this game is. <laughs> New characters in Bloody War 2, so you go. Uh, then we have Shen Long, who's new. Alice, who's now a nurse. You know, it's about five years, about five years after the first game, so Alice is now a nurse. And Yugo's a boxer. It's a new character, Stun. So Uriko, um, who got kidnapped and turned into that monster, but she, uh, she got a. Um, better. <laughs> we have Sheena, who's got his adopted daughter. Um, we have this mofo, Usuzima, who's, uh, I'll say, a scientist who experimented on himself and turned himself into his own group. We have Bakuyu, who is um, the disciple of the old guy from the last game. Long, who came back after he left uh, Tai Long and um, decided to just go into go and be a hermit for his penance for his sins. Jenny is a, a British spy who turned into a bat, and then we have Gano, who's back again. So let's, yeah, let's have some fun. Zoanthropes, beings possessed of animal strength and human intellect. Their existence has been the stuff of legend since the dawn of human history. As technology advances, genetic scientists gain the ability to awaken the beast-like powers that lie dormant in human genes. The giant multinational Tylon Corporation secretly plots to reap huge profits by exploiting these superhuman abilities. Opposing Tylon is a group of renegade zoanthropes fighting for the dignity of their kind. This fierce struggle shocks the world. Although they succeed in thwarting the evil plans of Tylon, the Zoanthropes unwittingly draw worldwide attention to their existence and their amazing abilities. Fear and envy among humans soon lead to prejudice and oppression against Zoanthropes. Thus persecuted, the Zoanthropes look for hope in a newly formed underground organization, the Zoanthrope Liberation Front, or ZLF. ZLF followers, claiming to fight for Zoanthrope rights, use their exceptional combat skills as Zoanthropes to overwhelm the forces of the human world. However... Shit, forgot to, to drink, hydrate, you know. The world learns too late that the ZLF is actually a terrorist organization convinced of zoanthrope superiority and advocating global rule by zoanthropes. Indiscriminate violence claims the lives of many innocent people. The ZLF even targets its supposed brethren, punishing or abducting zoanthropes who refuse to collaborate. As the rift between human and zoanthrope widens, total chaos and destruction seem inevitable. Now, more than ever, the world needs new leaders to bridge the gap, to heal the wounds, and create a new era of peace. So, real X-Men vibes happening here. Yeah. <laughs> so. Five years ago, Yugo Ogami, a young zoanthrope, threw himself into battle after battle to find his missing father. Upon learning that his father had fallen victim to the zoanthrope research of the evil corporation, Tylon, Yugo destroyed Tylon's secret lab. Our story begins shortly thereafter. Hey, what are you doing here? No, it's only a little kid. Are you a zoanthrope who escaped from the lab? You better get out of here, quickly! What's the matter with you? Cat got your tongue? Yugo decided to look after the boy, who had no memory of what had happened to him. 
Yugo named the boy Kenji. At first, Kenji was like an unresponsive automaton. But slowly, he began showing signs of recovering the human feelings he had known before. Yugo began to earn his living as a professional boxer. Kenji grew more and more spirited, and together the two enjoyed a peaceful, uneventful life. It even seemed they would escape the dark shadow of human Zoanthrope conflict and the terrorist activities of the Zoanthrope Liberation Front. Who the hell are you? What do you want with Kenji? Kenji? This isn't Kenji, you moron! This brat, I mean, Bakryu, is a master of the Kato School of Ninja. Ow, drat, I bit my tongue again! Anyhow, he works for me. He has my eyes and ears, and he's very handy to have around. Oh, a crowd of cockers is gathered. I must make haste! Au revoir! <laughs> they kidnapped Genji, you bastards! <laughs> Caught off guard and injured, Yugo was unable to stop Kenji's abduction by a group of zoanthropes who appeared from out of nowhere. Hang in there, Kenji. I'll save you. I will! Whoever you goons are, you won't get away with this! Thus began a lonely search to bring back the one Yugo had vowed to protect. Well, well. Now, where are you going in such a hurry? Who are you, a zoanthrope? Get away! Dropping your guard is a habit with you. Just like when you let that boy get kidnapped. Shame, shame. Shut up, witch! My, my, grabbing a lady and calling her a witch, where are your manners? And just when I was about to let you in on a little secret. Yeah, right. I bet you're with that limp-wristed bastard who cooked Kenji. You just won't listen to anything I say, will you? So be it. I'll just convince you with my fists. I don't mind at all. Shall we begin? <laughs> you go, the wolf, Jenny, the bat. Get ready. Doing too bad either. Let's finish this. Now, now, don't get carried away. Just want to get a feel for your abilities. You know, you're far too reckless. Do you think you can track down the people you're looking for without even finding out about them first? This is none of your business. No, I suppose it isn't. Just happen to know that the man you're looking for is the commander of the Soul of Liberation Front troops, that's all. You mean THE Liberation Front? Those terrorists who go around blowing things up in the name of Zonto Liberation or whatever? That creepy lizard-looking guy's name is Pususima. He's the leader's right-hand man, they say. Are they going to try to turn Kenji into a terrorist? Who knows? That's none of my business, remember? How do you know so much about the ZLF? Oh, I don't know that much. But if you want to know more, I can introduce you to a professional hunter-tracker. Don't move. Are you Sheena? I want to talk to you. Yeah. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a zoanthrope. CLF scum. I have something to ask you. Scum. Scum. See? See what I get for being nice to you. <laughs> you go, the wolf. Sheena, the leopard. Get ready. Fight! 
Would you listen to what I have to say? I am not affiliated with the ZLF. I was looking for some SOB named Busuzima. Where did you hear that name? Some freaky woman I ran into said Busujima was the ZLF's head Hanzo or commander or something. That's what I heard too. Sorry, but I'm only interested in hearing about one thing. Alpha. Alpha? What the heck's that? The ZLF's leader himself. Alpha is his code name. No one knows his real name or even who he really is. In biology, it's a term that means the leader of a group or flock. Huh. I didn't know that. So why the interest in him? He may be my father. Can't you tell me anything? Even some trivial detail? Sorry, but I've got other things to worry about too. But if I do meet up with your old man, I'll give him a message for you. What's your old man's name? Gado. Alan Gatto. What? You mean you're Gatto's daughter? Do you know my father? Yeah, I ain't seen him lately, though. So Gatto's the head honcho of the ZLF. Who would have believed it? I don't want to believe it either. That's why I have to find out the truth. I understand. Listen, I know it must be rough, and I want to help you out, but I've got my own problems. I'm sorry. I don't want your sympathy. I'll settle my own business myself. You see... Sounding more like Gatto's daughter each minute. Good luck. Hmm. Wait. I sense someone. No ordinary zoanthrope. You saw me. You saw me. Holy goo, what is this? You. One of its minions. I will kill you. Kill you. Hey, wait, stop! I said wait, damn it! <laughs> no, no waiting. You, you go only fighting. Stop the insect. Here we go! Get ready.
You know about Busujima? Where is he? Where? Hey, don't pass out on me. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry, he said. Someone I know is being held captive by Busujima. I have to save him. Even after doing this to me, he is not yet satisfied. When will the madness end? Huh? He performs hideous experiments on live zone subjects. Live subjects? What kind of monster is this, Busujima? Don't let him do that to Kenji. I won't. I must hurry. Wait. I'll tell you where he is. You know? I had intended to go there myself, but it seems I'm out of time. I'm sorry. I don't deserve sympathy. I cooperated with his experiments. I didn't know it at the time. I'm still responsible. I see. I'm sorry. I owe you one. Kenji, you're alive! Hey, what's the matter? Don't you recognize me? It is time for you to die. You go, the wolf, Akaru, the mole. Here we go! Get ready. Sometimes it's funny to see what happens if you lose. Like... Here we go! Get ready. you 
Kenji. I finally found you, Busuzima. Just who are you, huh? Don't play dumb. What the hell did you do to Kenji? Kenji? Let me see. No, I remember you. You're that little pump I beat to a pulp, yes? You won't get away this time. Say your prayers, Busujima. Did you think it would be that easy? <laughs> I have bodyguards who are very loyal to me, you know. Now, my sweet Bakryu, dispatch this cockroach for me. Tear him to pieces! Kenji, no, it's me. Don't you remember me? <laughs> it's no use, Creighton. He's not your precious Kenji. He's Bakryu, assassin. Master of the Kato School of the Art of Ninja. He lost his memory for a bit. But I, Dr. Busujima, use my superhuman surgical skills to fix him right up and back into the cold-blooded killer he was. No. No! Kenji! <laughs> You go, the wolf, Akaru, the mole. Here we go! Get ready. I'm just trying to do that, Nick. Fourteen-year-old assassins. <laughs> Kenji, snap out of it! Kenji, you go. All right, he remembers. <laughs> you worthless, no good ninja numbskull. Your time is up, Usajima. I don't need that no good ninja anyway. So there. Nyan, nyan, nyan. <laughs> I've got something even better than him. I've had enough of you. I'm gonna pulverize you. You won't get away, Busujima. Who's running away? I've got someone else for you to fight. Law? You too? You bring for Busujima? Who is this poor, confused cretin? I am the heart that pumps the blood of the Zorto Liberation Front. I know no miserable traitor such as you. No, you're not Law. You look like him, but your smell is different. Who on earth are you? I am Shenlong, warrior for the cause of Zoanthrope justice. And I punish without mercy anyone foolish enough to cross my path. You go, the wolf, Shenlong, the tiger. Here we go! Get ready. One of the downgrades is that they kind of like, they didn't really get all the camera work where it was supposed to be for the second one. But the gameplay is a lot better than the first one. Well, I would hope so. It's a sequel. But you know. How dare you? How Get 
you're stalling. Are you finally out of puppets? I'll get you for destroying my masterpiece. You'll live just long enough to regret it. No, you're the one who's in for some serious regret. Time to pay the piper. Put a cork in it. I bet you think we scientists are all big-headed weaklings, don't you? Well, you're wrong. I, Busujima, am a genius. Does this guy ever get tired of talking? Do you think the results of my research are a bunch of facts and figures? Wrong. I've used those results myself to make myself brutally strong. You go, the wolf, Busujima, the chameleon. Bestest fighter ever. Incorrect. Get ready. It's over, Kenji. Come on, let's go home. Yugo, Busujima turned me into a ninja assassin. <laughs> he made me... It's all behind you, Kenji. Now it's time to live your own life. So you beat me to it again. Your skill is as sharp as usual. Karo, just what do you think you're doing? The human zone through conflict will destroy the world unless we stop it. The Zoro's Rope Liberation Front only makes things worse for both sides. The world needs a leader. A true leader. And you're saying that you can be that leader? No, I'm not conceited enough to think that. Besides, I'm too old. I can only help ensure that the next generation takes up the challenge. Stop what you're thinking, because I don't want that job. Solving problems takes more than force, and fighting is the only skill I have. I will test your power and your destiny. Would you listen to me, you stubborn old man? <laughs> you go, the wolf, God of the lion. Here we go. Get ready. <laughs> Those background graphics, truly amazing. I didn't mean to go. <laughs> I think that's my fault. Get him ready. Oh, yes, these were simpler times back in the PlayStation 1 days. Not today, son. Not today. Get him back when you're ready.
What's the matter? I thought you were a great fighter. Shut your trap. Man, what do you mean you're too old? You fight better than before. <laughs> you go, the wolf. Go, the lion. Get ready. I am I am not doing very well. said GTFO. Actually knows how to play the game. It's not fair. <laughs> you go, the wolf. Go, the lion. Get ready. Ready. Fire! 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 Fire!
friend's son. What does this prove? Someone must take the helm of the destiny of the species, whether that person wants to or not. There will be no more Zorinthropes who end up like that poor young boy. You're right. Zorinthropes like Busujima who exploit their own kind make my blood boil. They are evil Zorinthropes, just as they are evil humans. Use your strength to oppose them in the name of peace for all. You are more than qualified. Yeah, well, I'll do what I can. What am I getting myself into? You'll be alright, Hugo. Kenji. After all, you rescued me, didn't you? You can save others out there who need help like I did. Having lost its leader, the Zoanthorp Liberation Front collapsed. After this, there were individuals who tirelessly exhorted the need for cooperation and peaceful coexistence. Many were Zoanthorps who unknowingly had assisted the Liberation Front. Now they devoted their lives not to a false cause, but to reconciliation and a future of true peace. Guiding them was a young Zoanthorp so utterly dedicated to justice that his friends playfully called him obsessed. And soothing this leader's sometimes hot temper and calmly surveying the situation was a youthful boy who stayed by the leader's side like a brother. One of the interesting things about this game is that Gato's daughter Sheena, in Japan, she's called Marvel because you know she was so she was so amazing at you know the war machine. But, but I guess you know they didn't want like the the company Marvel coming after them, so they changed her name to Sheena. And then Kenji, his name is supposed to be Kakeru. But I guess they thought pe people in America wouldn't be able to pronounce Kakeru correctly. <laughs> so they changed it to Kenji. They're looking down on us Americans. <laughs> For very good reason. So one of the other interesting things about this game is that... Let's say last year, maybe, like during like Bloody peak pandemic, Roar two, a group of voice actors breed. decided that they were going to redub the game, like just replace like the original voice acting of the game. Um, and it was it's pretty interesting, you know. It's like some some of I, th I think they screwed up a couple of lines, or like a couple of lines didn't quite sound right compared to the original, but it was it's an interesting endeavor. So. So for a little bit, we're gonna try doing that. I'm gonna test that out for a bit. So, right back. So you can hear the difference already, yeah. Uh... Ah! 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 
Bloody Roar to the new breed. So, hmm. <laughs> I think I would re go for a bit. It'll be fun. Let's see. Uriko, a young girl, helped her mother run the family grocery store. But her mother has never told anyone about her own zone throat blood. Or that she once or she once launched a bloody one woman attack to free her kidnapped daughter Uriko from the Tylon. Several years later, Uriko's peaceful life with her mother was shattered by a mysterious group. You're a fool to turn your back on our cause. Take her away. It's long. The guy from the lab. Wait, he looks like him, but that's not him. The shadowy man KO'd Uriko's powerful mother Mitsuko with a single punch. Uriko shook with fury. No, mother. I'll morph into a sword and up and wipe these suckers out. You asked for it. What's going on? Why did it turn out like this? The surgical procedure Uriko underwent at Tylon, although transforming her into a fiercely powerful zoanthrope, pushes her human system beyond its limits, triggering strange changes. Unable to morph completely, she watches helplessly as Mitsuko is abducted. Again, they are torn from each other. As her mother once saved her, now it is Uriko's turn to become the searcher. Oh, I'm too late. Who are you? Are you with them? Where's my mother? How rude. I'm not with the Liberation Front, little kitten. Liberation what? Don't you watch the news? Now that bothersome bunch you talk about liberating the beast, while in reality just making life difficult for all of us. You've been there the ones who took my mom from me? Correct. And what's more, their leader was apparently you in person. You know, you met him. Him? He looked like someone I know, but he was more cold. That is the phantom leader of the ZLF. He does bear striking resemblance to your friend Long, doesn't he? Where did they take my mother? Where are they? What would you do if I told you? In your state, you don't seem at all capable of taking on the ZLF. Oh yeah? Says who? If I fought hard enough, really hard, I could whip those guys. Is that so? Well then, why not test yourself on me? <laughs> Uriko the Half-Beast, Jenny the Bat. Get ready, So here goes a funny character. It's clear she doesn't quite know what she's doing, but she's she's just kind of flailing around and hoping for the best. So. somewhat capable <laughs> but you're still not ready to do battle with the liberation front you're just a sore loser that's all how uncool my what a rude little girl nevertheless you're not ready yet but i'll take you to someone who can help you can train with him i don't have time for that i have to rescue my mother now there's no need to go off half cocked it won't kill your mother right away after all First, they'll try to make her become a Liberation Front terrorist. So you still have time to prepare yourself for her rescue. Well? Yeah, but... I don't understand why you zoanthropes are so obtuse. I'm the adult, you're the child, so just do what I say.
You say this man resembles me? Uh-huh. I mean, yes, sir. And what do you want with a recluse like me? I, please, teach me how to fight. I want to become stronger so I can rescue my mother. You want a hermit like me to be your teacher? Preposterous. I'm rusty and out of fighting condition. Huh? Mm. But let me train. I need it too. I'm on a mountain away from prying eyes out to steal my secrets. Huh? Oh, I get it. I can watch you silently and then practice on my own. I thought I heard a small voice. It must be my imagination. A man who looks like me. It looks like I still have work to do. One month later. <laughs> there. I think I'm getting it. But it still seems different. Oh well. You're doing it incorrectly. Whoa! Then what a surprise. Mr. Long, when did you get here? It's not the proper form at all. However, your fainting moves are quite effective. Very interesting indeed. All right, I did it! I made, finally made Master Long happy. Master Long? In martial arts, that's what you call your teacher, right? And I'm your star pupil, right, Master Long? Pupil? Who says you're my pupil? Well, anyway, let me see just how much you've learned so far. My first contest! Hooray! Get ready, because here I come! Oh, brother. <laughs> Uriko the Half-Beast, the Tiger. Think she's about to die. <laughs> I'm impressed. Eepee! I did it! I scored a point off Master Long! Prepare to leave this place. Yes, sir! Just hold on, Mom. I'm coming to rescue you. You, child, it's not safe here. Go back home. Child? Oh, me? What are you talking to? Hey, you're one of those ZLF criminals, I bet. You watch what you say. Kid or no kid, if you don't leave me alone, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I never lose a fight. Come on, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> Uriko, hey, what's up? Beast. Fight, Sheena the Leopard. Leave me alone. I'm not with the Liberation Front. I'm just looking for someone. I don't believe you for one second, so answer me. 
I've been wasting my time trying to convince you, so I'll see you later. Hey! She got away. That's okay. No one can stop me now. How dare you defile the holy grounds of the liberation front, you wretched cat! So you're the one! Yes, it's you! Well, how dare you kidnap my mother! Do you challenge me? You're way out of your league, novice. Uriko the Half-Beast, General the Tiger. Um, I'm in the throne. Let's... This isn't over yet. You still want a piece of me? I'm gonna knock you out. You... you are... What's wrong, mister? You look pale. Ugh, it's this horrible sensation. Ah! You there. Who are you? I knew this would happen someday, but never like this. Master, snap out of it! Master! We'll finish this later. Yikes, what is that? Is it a huge bug or a human? <laughs> Trouble. I never knew this you'll have soldiers like this. <laughs> no, don't associate me with the likes of Pusujima. <laughs> Uriko the Half-Beast, stun the insect. Yeah. 
You can try to stop me, but it's no use. Wait, you fake kung fu master. Summer bugs fly into fire. Wow, corny, you're too young and handsome to talk like that. Don't waste your breath. Uriko, the half-beast, Bakugou, the mole. Get ready, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Uriko the half-beast, Bakugou the mole. Oh man. Uh, and the artwork for you lose, when you lose is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, 
sucking. <laughs> This boy looks like he's been brainwashed. You mean he's being controlled by the Zunta Liberation Front? Let's check him out. If it's just hypnotism, maybe we can undo it. Hey, he's come out of it. You were brainwashed. Do you remember? What the hell are y'all doing over there, damn it? Who are you? Stop messing with my subjects, you hear? Just so are y'all, anyway. So you're the puppeteer. You. I knew you. I've seen you somewhere before. Stay back, master. You pervert. I'm gonna make mincemeat out of you. How dare you call a genius like me a pervert? You little brat. Really bad now. Uriko, the beast. Utsuzima, the chameleon. Slick.
yes, I'm the man. I'm the greatest. <laughs> Cheating! Game is cheating! <laughs> Get 
Game cheating. My mother, you did that, boy. Well, I'll never let you. Never. Oh, you and the grits again. You barely escaped being killed, and now you rush headlong to your death. You won't get away. Give me back my mother. Silence. And what's this about your mother? How the hell should I know what happened to her? Don't play dumb. You're the one who kidnapped her. You won't get away with it. The ZLF is engaged in a holy war in every corner of the world. I can't be bothered to remember every single action we take. Now then, who is that man over there and why does he look like me? Ludico, I'm counting on you. What? Master, you mean... Forgive me. I'm weak. I just can't bear to see any more of this. What are you saying? Answer me. I will fight you instead. Here's a taste of Shin Yi Kung Fu Fury. Uriko the Half Beast, Shenlong the Tiger. He's like a big boy. I'm going to send this 14 year old to fight for me.
them you should be ashamed of yourself mother oh mother i finally found you mother i'm so happy <laughs> i don't think there's a good way to read that honestly like thus reunited mother and daughter returned to their happy home and picked up where they had left off no one knows what the new era holds in store for uriko and mitsuko Perhaps someday, Uriko may return to the world of martial arts, daring rescues, and exciting adventures, but that is another story. Hey, it's Kenji! Yoo-hoo, Kenji, how you doing? Uh, hi, Uriko. I'm... I'm okay. Are you on your way home? God, can you give me a lift? Um, yeah, I guess so. Oh, great! No, wait, let's go! Punch it! Floor it! Yeah! All right! <laughs> Uriko, do you think you could not make so much noise? What? Did you say something? N never mind. Oh, brother. Now, that's enough World War II. So, what comes after two? That's right, it's Bloody War Three. Be right back. <laughs> 